Immigration, it's a, an important topic. Three components. First off, securing our borders. Lots of discussion about that. Do we need to build a wall? How much would it cost? Is Mexico going to pay for it? <laughs> Looking at information presented by the Border Patrol and DEA, they say a wall today would be like trying to solve a 21st century problem with a 14th century solution. They say that the way that you solve the problem today is new technology, whether it's towers with cameras, ground sensors, no matter what it takes in terms of that type of technology, that could be efficient and effective to make sure that our southern border is secure. Border security is probably the most important part of national security. I agree with that 100 percent. I don't think the wall is a good investment. I think it's too many billions of dollars, and I think it is solving a 21st century problem with a 14th century solution. Visa problem, we need to overhaul it. It doesn't work. A good friend of mine is Keith Eckel. He used to grow tomatoes up in Clark Summit. He discontinued growing tomatoes because he said you can't depend on it. It's too bureaucratic. You put hundreds of thousands of dollars out for a tomato crop, and you don't know if you're going to have people there to harvest them in the fall. We need to update it. We need to streamline it. We need to make it user-friendly. We need to make it accurate. And we need to look at an H2C program that allows workers to come in for an extended period of time. That would help different parts of industry that needs extra labor, like the mushroom industry, this a large part of this 9th Congressional District, or the food processing industry that relies on immigrant help, uh, almost a very large percentage uh, of their workforce. We also have to deal with the 11 or 12 or 13, it's an estimate, million undocumented residents in this country. We can do just like we have for the last 25 years and do nothing. Or we can decide we're going to address the problem. Let me tell you on the list of options, what's not there is deporting 11 or 12 million people. That would be like deporting everybody that lives in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. It's physically impossible. It's financially impossible. It's not on the list. So we've got to figure out what we need to do to bring that 11, 12 million into the system, whether it's registering them, giving them a temporary visa, doing background checks, vetting them, uh, whether it is a matter of uh, looking at uh, whether they owe taxes, whether they're going to pay a fine. I'm not talking about amnesty or citizenship. I'm talking about bringing them into the system. That also takes care of the sanctuary city problem because now they're registered. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to go to madhouseandproductions.com forward slash TV to see even more great local programming and get your DVD and USB copies of this broadcast and more. From all of us here at MHP, remember to get out and vote this November.